Hello everyone and welcome to Classroom Setup 2021-2022. Today is day one and I'm really not doing much, but first let me introduce myself. I am Miss Gandalf and I'm teaching fourth grade and I've been teaching for a very long time, but this is my fourth consecutive year teaching fourth grade and I've almost got it down. So <laughs> I'm going to be showing you a little bit around my new classroom today, what I'm doing and yeah, Welcome, welcome to the journey. I should also add that I am a charter school teacher in South Florida, so your mileage may vary when it comes to your classroom, but I hope you guys learn a little something along the way, um, and I hope you guys can help me a little bit along the way. Now, something that's a little bit different about my situation than other classroom setup videos that you may see is that in my school, we do get moved around every year, and that's because, like I said before, I'm in a charter, and because of that, we share our space actually with a church. We rent our space from a church. And so our rooms weren't designed like normal public school classrooms were. So they're all different sizes. So depending on the size class you're gonna get, that's the size room you're gonna get. So we really, literally have to clear everything out, take everything home every summer and move everything back once we start up again, which is where we are right now. So, you know, that's that's the deal with it. Last year I had the biggest class, I had 30 kids, so I had the biggest room. And uh, this year I have a smaller room, but I have a smaller class. So, you know, take what you can get. Uh, let me show you around a little bit. So I just came in for the first time today into the room. So I'm pretty much getting it stock how it was all summer. Um, as soon as you walk in, it's kind of like this little nook area here this actually used to be a computer lab before covid now we don't have a computer lab anymore um but this is there's this little nook area with the teacher desk and i'll probably move that maybe over there somewhere so that i can still see the rest of the classroom and then i'll probably have you know toys and books and stuff over here in this area that the kids can access now if we move over this way you can kind of see the bulk of the classroom like this is where the desks and everything will go um, and then if you look up you'll see these things that are hanging from the ceiling because just like some art we did for the stem accreditation we had a couple of years ago and i guess last year's teacher left it up like i said this used to be the computer lab you'll also see there's like some tape on the walls it's just you know the way that they designed the room when we did that accreditation um i don't know i think i'm gonna take it out though um, I don't know if it really matches my color palette. Um, and then up there, you can see this is a classroom of the future. So in case we ever have to have kids at home that are quarantined for COVID, we do have um, this camera that you know can track you. We kind of turned the tracking off last year, but it faces the front of the room. So it faces me while I'm teaching. And that way it's like the kids are actually in the classroom. Um, we got an AC in the back and these bulletin boards are really the only bulletin boards we get if you look at them up here you'll see that they're on these pegs and like i said we share a space with a church so we have to do turnaround on fridays so um whatever we have up they have another bulletin board on the back and that's how we share it with them i did find these bulletin boards downstairs and i'm going to have to find a way to hang them but i really want want to have extra bulletin boards in the room so I'll show you the back of it um, this one has this kind of hook slide type thing um, so I'm gonna see how I can find a way to mount them up because these are concrete walls um, so it's never easy to mount anything here but I'm going to try <laughs> and then if we turn a little bit more you'll see this is the front of the room and we do have this TV like I said it's a classroom of the future so it's actually just the TV it's not a it's not a computer but we use it kind of like a second screen so this is where we would put the kids who are on zoom um, hopefully this year that's not going to be a thing um, having kids on Zoom, but you know, you never know. So it's configured in that way. So I figure I'll use it just for like extra displays and things that I need to pop up so the kids can reference throughout the day. This room has a very tiny whiteboard, but 
a lot of supplies, like a lot of micro bands. So, you know, whatever, I'll take what I can get. Um, and like I said, more tape. So I don't think I'm going to leave most of this tape up, but maybe I have to ask permission. Maybe it's better to ask for forgiveness than permission. Maybe I'll just take it down anyway. And then this is the, the smart board that we use. So essentially a big computer, um, but it can function as a whiteboard as well, which is what I would use it mostly for last year. Um, there's a document camera that I'll probably never use. I've never used the document camera in all the years that I've worked here. So I'll let somebody else take it. And this keyboard is for the computer um, and all of the many, many remotes. So that's the room so far. This is what I've brought from home, which essentially is a lot of bins and baskets and a couple of toys and things, but mostly just organizational stuff. I haven't brought the majority of the things yet. I actually do have some bookcases and all of my toys and all of my books at home. Now, something that is a little bit different about my situation this year is that I was going to move, I was going to move across the state, and then we didn't. So I was going to teach second grade in my new school, so I kind of separated all my things to be second grade ready and not necessarily fourth grade ready. So hopefully all the things, you know, most of the things carry over. Legos are Legos. Art supplies are art supplies. But, um, so yeah, it's, we'll see. I have to kind of see what I packed and where I packed it. And so I've got about four big bins to bring in with materials that were all labeled for the classroom and a couple of boxes of books that hopefully I labeled the right way <laughs> because I just labeled second grade books. Those are the ones that, were, that I was going to take to my new school. Um, so hopefully I'll find some fourth grade books. But that's where we are right now. Today, my big project is just kind of unloading, unpacking these things. And then I'm going to come back in a few days with the rest of my furniture and the rest of my materials. And that's when we're really going to get into it. Okay, tape update. I've taken uh, a couple of strips off. And the only one that's leaving a residue was the green tape that was here. It has like this little yellow residue. But if you look at it from far away, I don't think you can hardly tell. Um, I hope I don't get in trouble for taking the tape off the wall, but... You know, if they really liked it that much, I can buy some more tape and put it back up, but it's it's just not the hour. Okay, so we ran into a little bit of problem with the tape because some of it is really stuck in there behind the smart board, so we're gonna have to cut it. Uh, so I needed to get scissors and, you know, art room to the rescue, went in there, borrowed some scissors. Thanks, Miss Gonzalez, you don't know your lending to me. But I will put it back later. Let's get to cutting. So this area here is where I'm having the most trouble with the tape. It's kind of really stuck back there. So on this side, I kind of stuffed it in and you can't tell from looking at it straight on, but I'm still trying to find a way to take it out. If I find out, I'll let you know. Still more tape. 
Ta-da! That looks much better without any tape on it and getting some of my uh, little book bins out. Um, I don't know if this is where they'll stay, but this is where they're gonna stay for now. Um, over here, got some more things out, like these cans. Um, these are for math centers, and they're actually really, really good. Um, I'll show them to you. And I have to retape or hot glue some of these, but anyways, it has these problems inside, and they pull out the strip there's an answer key in there and so they can you know work on them in a variety of ways they can use it in small groups on their own um, and then they can you know check their answer see why they got it wrong or why they got it right um, so it's like a really neat tool for them to do in small groups early finishers things like that um, but I will have to retape those um, or hot glue I think I'm gonna hot glue that actual bins like these can things are from the Dollar Tree um, so those are really nice and then I can link below the actual product is from TPT now to tackle the next wall of tape which is the last wall of tape thank goodness and there is no there are no electronics in my way so I think this is gonna be a much faster job show you when I'm done So tape update number three. All the tape is off of the wall, but um, it cleaned up really nicely on the other wall. It took it came out like without a hitch, but over here, like it ripped all this paint off just in this little section here. So I'm hoping that I can cover that up with some posters. I'm sure I'll be able to. Luckily, it's like on the bottom half, so I don't think anybody will notice right now, but. Yeah, and then you can still see, like, the green residue left over by, like, the yellow residue left over by the green tape. But I don't know why over here it ripped some chunks. I don't know if maybe because of the humidity. You know, we're in South Florida and the AC is off all summer. Maybe it made it stick a little bit more. That's what I'm thinking. So hopefully I'll be able to cover that up. I'm sure I have some posters and stuff. It won't be a big deal. So now I'm mostly unpacked, but I've got these things up on the ceiling. Now, that one over there is definitely going bye-bye. It doesn't fit into anything, but I don't know. How do you guys feel about them? I feel like they're just like sporadically placed, but I don't hate them. Like, I, I think I wouldn't mind them like coming out of the wall I don't know in some places they're kind of they're okay tell me what you think should we leave them up should we take them down are they like way too distracting let me know okay so this is the end of day one I know not a whole lot looks like it got done but I did about as much as I could um, kind of made it into a blank slate right so that's what I was looking for uh, make sure I had a blank slate so that when I come back next week, well, not next week, in a few days, um, I'll be ready to go and I can get to work with the rest of my things. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Thank you for joining me. And I will be back with day two very, very soon. Bye, guys.